Have you ever wondered about the secrets of old age that parents should keep to themselves? As we navigate the complexities of aging, certain reflections and experiences can shape how we interact with our children. In today's video, we'll delve into four key aspects of aging that, while deeply personal, can significantly impact family dynamics. Understanding these insights can help you maintain harmony and respect within your family as you share your journey. Before we dive in, I'd love for you to take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot, and please, engage in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts and experiences as we explore these important topics together. Let's get started. Section 1. Resentment Toward Your Parents or Ancestors As we age, it's natural to reflect on our past decisions and experiences, often pondering how different choices might have altered the course of our lives. This introspection can lead to feelings of resentment toward our parents or ancestors, especially when we consider missed opportunities or unfulfilled potential. For instance, we might find ourselves thinking, if only my father had pursued a different career, perhaps our lives would be better today. Such thoughts can stem from genuine frustration or a desire to understand our own circumstances. However, vocalizing this resentment can have unintended consequences. When parents express dissatisfaction or bitterness about their upbringing or the decisions made by previous generations, it can inadvertently teach their children a damaging lesson. Instead of fostering resilience and accountability, children may start to believe that their challenges and hardships are the result of someone else's failures. This tendency to blame others can create a cycle of negativity, where children feel justified in placing their struggles on the shoulders of their ancestors rather than taking ownership of their own choices and actions. This blame game can poison familial relationships, leading to feelings of discontent and division. A more constructive approach involves focusing on gratitude and appreciation for the sacrifices made by those who came before us. Instead of dwelling on perceived shortcomings, recognizing the efforts and struggles of our parents can help cultivate a sense of empathy and understanding. By acknowledging the challenges they faced and the choices they made within their own contexts, we can honor their legacy and promote a positive family dynamic. Encouraging gratitude not only strengthens family bonds, but also instills in our children a sense of appreciation for their own journey, fostering resilience and a proactive mindset. In doing so, we break the cycle of blame and negativity, paving the way for a more harmonious family environment. Section 2. Criticism of Your Spouse Long-term relationships are a complex journey filled with both joys and challenges. After decades of sharing a life together, it's not uncommon for frustrations to build up, leading us to voice our grievances about our spouses. In moments of anger or disappointment, we might find ourselves saying things like, If I hadn't married your father, I would have had a better life. Or, Living with your mother was the worst decision I ever made. While these expressions may seem justified in the heat of the moment, they can have profound and lasting effects on our family dynamics. When parents criticize each other in front of their children, it places those children in an incredibly uncomfortable position. They inherently love both parents and may feel pressured to choose sides, leading to feelings of guilt and confusion. Children often grapple with conflicting emotions when they hear one parent disparaging the other, which can create a sense of distress and uncertainty. For example, if a child hears a parent lament about their marriage, they might start questioning the stability of their family unit or feel compelled to intervene inappropriately. This emotional burden can strain their relationships not only with their parents, but also with each other, fostering division rather than unity. Instead of focusing on negative aspects, a more constructive approach is to emphasize the positive qualities of the marriage. Highlighting the moments of love, support, and shared joy can help children see the multifaceted nature of relationships. For instance, you might say, Your father and I have had our struggles, 
but he has always been there for our family. Or, your mother worked hard to create a loving home for us. By framing the narrative this way, you model healthy relationship dynamics and resilience. This balanced perspective not only preserves the dignity and respect of both parents, but also provides children with valuable lessons on navigating their own relationships. Encouraging a focus on the positive aspects fosters emotional well-being and helps cultivate an environment of understanding and compassion within the family. Section 3. Comparisons Between Your Children As parents, we often strive to love our children equally, but the temptation to compare them can be overwhelming. It's easy to fall into the habit of making statements like, Thank goodness we have your brother, otherwise this family would be in ruins. Or, if only your sister worked as hard as you, she wouldn't be struggling. While these remarks may be made in jest or out of frustration, they can have profound emotional ramifications. Consistent comparisons can lead children to feel inadequate, as if their worth is measured against their siblings' successes or failures. When children are repeatedly pitted against each other, it can foster deep-seated feelings of resentment and bitterness. The child who feels overshadowed may start to internalize a belief that their efforts are undervalued, leading to long-lasting emotional wounds. They might come to believe they are never good enough in their parents' eyes, which can strain their relationship not only with you, but also with their siblings. Conversely, a child who receives excessive praise in comparison to their siblings may grapple with guilt and the pressure to constantly meet high expectations, which can also create stress and anxiety. A more constructive approach is to celebrate each child's individuality and achievements. Rather than drawing comparisons, focus on recognizing and appreciating what makes each child unique. If one child excels in academics while another shines in sports, celebrate their accomplishments in ways that uplift them both. For instance, you might say, your sister has worked incredibly hard in school, and I'm proud of her, just as I'm proud of your dedication to soccer. By treating each child as an individual and acknowledging their strengths, you can foster a supportive environment that encourages personal growth. This approach not only enhances familial bonds, but also helps children develop a sense of self-worth that is independent of comparisons, nurturing their ability to thrive in their own unique ways. Section 4. Negative Views on Life It's not uncommon for life's challenges to lead us to express discontent and bitterness about our experiences. Whether it's a job loss, health issues, or simply the weight of daily stresses, our frustrations can manifest in negative comments about life in general. While these feelings are valid and often justified, voicing them too frequently can create a pervasive atmosphere of negativity that affects the entire family dynamic. Children are particularly impressionable. When they hear constant complaints or a cynical view of life, it can shape their own perspectives and beliefs about the world. The impact of internalizing this negativity can be profound. Children may begin to mirror these pessimistic attitudes, stifling their ambition and hope for the future. Instead of dreaming big and striving for their goals, they may develop a sense of resignation, believing that life is inherently difficult and that their efforts will be futile. This mindset can hinder their ability to pursue opportunities and can even affect their mental health, leading to anxiety and a lack of motivation. To foster a healthier outlook, it's essential to model resilience and a positive perspective in front of your children. This doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties. Rather, it involves acknowledging challenges while also highlighting the lessons learned and the silver linings that can emerge. For example, instead of lamenting a setback, share how you overcame it or what you gained from the experience. By demonstrating a balanced approach to life's ups and downs, you can inspire your children to adopt a more hopeful and proactive attitude. Encourage them to express their feelings, while also guiding them to see the possibilities and growth that can arise from adversity. 
This approach not only nurtures their ambition, but also equips them with the tools to navigate life's challenges with resilience and positivity. Conclusion In conclusion, the way we communicate about our past, our relationships, our children, and our views on life can profoundly impact family dynamics. By being mindful of our words and focusing on gratitude, positivity, and support, we can create a nurturing environment that fosters growth and resilience in our children. Thank you for joining me today. If you found value in this discussion, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below. Do you agree with these points? If you think these insights resonate with you, comment 9. If you have reservations, feel free to comment. Yuriro. Until next time, take care.